Bill Muncie, and I drive the WarningPower.com Unlimited Light Hydroplane. This is powered by a big block Chevrolet. It is still carbureted, but it's developing over 700 horse and it's about 509 cubic inches. It's called a hydroplane because it literally flies over the water. It is actually an airplane. And if it wasn't for certain safety devices and the fact that the propeller actually is immersed in the water, it would fly off the water and just fly away. I suppose if we put a propeller on it, we could fly it like an airplane. I'll be strapped inside that cockpit as tight as I can be strapped. I'll be wearing an oxygen mask, a helmet of course. Um, I wear goggles in addition to that. It helps my vision for the end of the uh, straightaways and see the entrance pins. The only controls we have when we get up to the speeds of about 160 miles an hour or plus, uh, the only control surfaces we have are the rudder that sticks down the back of the boat and it doesn't sound particularly glamorous, it just drags through the water and you turn the wheel and it turns the rudder and that turns the boat. We have another device that sticks down into the water off the port or the left sponson and call a skid fin, but it doesn't move. The crew chief or the team has already set that up. I have no control over that. The only other control I've got when I get to the end of the straightaway, or the, the boat's getting very airborne, it's getting very loose. Some people will say it wants to blow over. The only control we've got is what's called a canard. Now, canard's just a fancy name for a big wing. Now, this has got a bar that goes through linkage into the cockpit, and there's a pedal in the cockpit that is in the same position that a brake pedal would be in, but it's technically it's not really a brake. It does help slow the boat down, but it doesn't create any drag as you and I might be used to with regards to, say, an automobile. But I'll show you here. When I step on the pedal, it lifts the wing up. Now, that might not seem like a lot. It's only supposed to have about three inches of travel. But believe it or not, that's a tremendous amount when you're going 160 miles an hour. And then if you do it fast, the nose will come down fast. And most of the time, you don't want that unless you're in a, in a scary situation and you need that kind of control immediately. So when you have the throttle all the way to the floor, the only way you're really controlling this boat is develop, developing or changing the angle of attack with which the boat goes through the air. And so this is the only control service. And usually, you want to be very gradual with it. We're very pleased to be here and looking forward to coming back again last year as we've been encouraged this is going to happen.